What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. I got a channel message in, so I'm going to share the um, message. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Caps side to everybody in between. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, um, someone is about to get offered a modeling contract, um, very lucrative, but I also heard it's to shut you up, it's to shut you up. Um, someone, um, and then I heard it was about a minute, after, well, 45 seconds to a bit after that. I heard um, it was before I clicked the camera on. It, um, I heard um, so you were, your name was slandered so badly in a certain community for so many years saying you were very dumb um, and um, now it is backfiring on the community. That's what I heard. So you plug it in however that resonates. That is so strong. So you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you. <clears throat> so you can be masculine or feminine however this resonates in your life. But um, somebody slandered, like slandered your name all across the community, said you were dumb, you were this, you were that, you didn't have no sense in your head, you were not intelligent, yada, yada, yada. And whoever you are, you're obviously attractive. Obviously. I mean, obviously, to get offered a modeling contract, you're obviously attractive. But, uh, um, but people that throw out negative energy in the universe, like gossip and slander, they do it because they're jealous, just to let everybody know. They do it because they're jealous. So whoever you are, you can be masculine or feminine, but you're very attractive, but you're very intelligent too. Because I heard they, they're, whoever is about to offer you this, are very lucrative. So very lucrative. So it's going to be a good amount of money. It's going to be a good amount of money. Um, but it's basically what you don't know, or maybe you do because you're highly int uh, intelligent. And if you watch this reading, maybe um, if you know what your story You'll know it's your story. Only you know your story. So you have to plug it in wherever it resonates. But um, I feel you will pick up on it. That's what I'm saying. Because you're highly intelligent. Um, come here, baby. Confirmation from highly intuitive kitty. Just saying, just saying. Boom. Um, come on. Come on, baby. Let me go get him some water. I'll be right back. So sorry. Okay, yeah, so I do. I think you're going to pick up on it if you know this is your story or not. I mean, you have to plug it in where it resonates. Um, everybody, you only know your story, not anybody else. But, and I think you know that the community was gossiping and slandering your name. But you're highly attractive. You're highly freaking attractive. But they were doing it, I think, to ruin your reputation, your career, um, your money in the past. But now people... No, the I think people are picking up on the fact you're highly intelligent. Either either your community is, or maybe you have a public platform like I do, um, and people are picking up on the fact that you are indeed highly intelligent. Um, and now they want to cover it up. They want to cover it up in the guise of a modeling, very lucrative modeling contract. So you'll be paid, but you'll be paid off well, so, because models, they basically stand up there. And they're used for their looks. They don't say anything. They do. They pose. They do whatever. But it's using their body and their attractiveness and not their brains is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, I mean, of course, everybody has free will and you can choose to take the money to basically shut up and look pretty. Or you can choose not to because everybody has free will. Um, if it was me, I wouldn't. But, um, I mean, I wouldn't because... I have a lot more to offer in the universe than just my body. Uh, and that's just the truth. Um, but everybody has free will. And, of course, if you want to do this and then you feel this resonates with you, then, of course, you can do it. We have an instinct on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's very sexually attracted to you. Somebody's very sexually attracted to you or they find you very sexually attractive. How would that resonate? 
Um, you're very highly sexually attractive, obviously. Obviously. Um, but there's more to you. Way more to you. And it's about to blow up in these people's faces in a huge way. Someone highly intelligent really likes you. Okay. Wow. Holy crap. Well, there we go. So good. Beauty and brains. And let me tell you, that's the best combination. Beauty and freaking brains. I mean, you can be beautiful externally. You can be beautiful. Um, of course, I want to keep my body in the best shape as possible. And I've worked very hard to get my body here. For any of you guys that don't know, I used to be almost 250 pounds about a decade ago after I had my second child. I was, up to, I was teetering 250 pounds. Now, right now, I am um, 160, 160. And the lowest I got down to was, was 145, I think, was my lowest, I think. Um, but um, I worked really hard. It took me years to get down that low, uh, 145. It took me years, years of hard work. No, no surgery, no gastro bypass, no gastric bypass, no uh, lap band, none of that. Um, no Botox, no skin, um, tummy tucks, nothing. It was good old fashioned hard work that got me down. Um, but I heard it's about to um, basically backfire in somebody's face because somebody really, really likes you. They like your brains and I think they like your external too. And whoever you are, I don't think you um, sexualize yourself. I don't think you sexualize yourself. I don't think you, wear, you know, now you might, if you're thin, you might wear a push-up bra. I mean, I wear a push-up bra, but it's just because I don't want my body to sag, you know, um, not because I'm trying to lure in 50 million people. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's for my health, not to gratify somebody's googly eyes, if that makes sense. Um, but I heard somebody, um, it's about to backfire. So, so I think somebody's trying to scout you for strategic manipulative purposes to sexualize you. For some, they could want you in the sex industry. And I didn't hear that, but they could. They could want you in the sex industry. But I heard specifically modeling contract in here. So for some, it's a modeling contract. For some, they could want you in the sex industry. And I didn't hear that. But we have the instinct on the card. They find you very sexually attractive. So whether it's a modeling contract, for one, it definitely is a modeling contract. But it's to shut you up. Sit there and look pretty, basically. Stand there and look pretty. Put your butt out. Because everybody likes your butt. Ooh, I can never do that. Never, never, nay, 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 nay. Of course, everybody's different. And some people, they would be completely happy doing that. But I couldn't, for me. Not in the inside, for me. That's just me. Um, of course, everybody's different. But, um, and I don't judge people that do. I just want to make that clear. And if I ever did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, decline a modeling contract if it was me. I'm not, I don't feel this is for me. I mean, it may, it may be, it may be for me. Hell, it's somebody in the universe. But what I'm saying is for me, I can't speak on other people. I can only speak on myself. That's what I'm saying. If I was to ever be offered a modeling contract in the future, I would accept it possibly under certain conditions. Like having a nice, like on the side is what I'm trying to say, like on the side, because there's way more to me, like being a mom, like spending time with my kids, like um, helping my community and my world. And I, I mean, anybody doesn't know, I'm a, I'm a nurse and I've been a nurse since 2013, a registered nurse. So, I mean, there's way more to me personally than my body, you know what I'm saying? But everybody's situation is different, but somebody finds you very sexually attractive, somebody wants to offer you a modeling contract, for some, they could be trying to get you in the sex industry, just for real, for real. You plug it in, how it resonates. Third time on the bottom deck. Boom. But I heard somebody um, that is highly intelligent, they are getting a huge wake-up call, and they really like you. They really like you. Um, so they might, um, I think they might offer you a wonderful, lucrative, intelligent role soon, possibly, or converse with you about, a lucrative, intelligent role soon. Whatever job field and role you um, you are in is what I'm trying to say. We have ancient willing, ancient willing, not willing, healing. Ancient healing, wisdom, upright, shaman, passion reversed. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with fire signs. 
possibly. Um, if you are, they can have Aries Leo Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in how it resonates. This person has never wanted to be sexualized. They never. Someone's about to get a huge wake up call about this. Huge. Oh, wow. Okay. I heard this uh, person has never wanted to be sexualized ever. Someone's about to get a huge wake up call about this. So I think somebody was sexualized against their will in some shape, form or fashion. And we've been pulling in a lot of um, like a, uh, I've been pulling in interject space about um, somebody's family member basically stealing photos, um, sexy photos of them and stealing them from their possession and going and plastering all over the Internet to make money off of them against the person's consent authorization and knowing. Um, so for some, it could be that maybe um, you took some lingerie pictures, maybe for a significant other in the past or for yourself and a family member knew about them and they stole them. And they went and plastered them all over the internet, possibly for some. For some, it could be sexy videos, like, um, and possibly through hidden camera energy or not hidden camera energy. And then they were stolen and then boom, all over the internet. And they made money off of you. Um, but how, if that resonates for you, if that me particular message resonates for you, I heard you never wanted to be sexualized. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it was down against your wheel. I think you did consent probably to the photo. Well, if you took the photos, you probably, I'm pretty sure you consented photos. Or unless they were done in behind the scenes in the photos. I mean, everybody's situation is different. But you might have consented to take the photos or the videos, but not consented to have them plastered all over the internet to, for somebody to make money off of them, is what I'm trying to say. But um, I heard you never, con you never uh, wanted to be sexualized. You never wanted to be sexualized. It's about to backfire on these people in a huge way that sexualized you in a huge way. Oh my gosh. It's about to backfire on the people that sexualized you in a huge way, in a huge way. So whoever you are that's about to get, um, somebody is trying to basically offer you this huge lucrative modeling contract to shut you up, sit there and look pretty energy, basically. Um, somebody secretly sexualized you. I'm thinking either through photos or videos or something of that nature, and they made a ton of money off of you. Um, you never got money for it, period. But I think the same people that sexualized you in the past are, trying, are in cahoots with somebody um, that's scouting you for some kind of modeling contract to try to shut you up because people know you're intelligent now and they were once slandering you and saying you were an idiot. Um, so to try, to try to cover their ass. But I heard it's basically about to backfire on them in a huge way. I think the people that are scouting you for the modeling contract are about to t turn the energy on these assholes and realize that it wasn't you that wanted to be scouted, that it was them trying to cover up their nasty, shicey behavior, if that makes sense. So ancient healing wisdom in this sense is, um, I think you've healed from the situation. I think you've healed from the situation. For some, I feel you could have the players and you already get heads up from the spiritual realm and your ancestors, aka clear messages, clear, um, clear audience, clear sentience, clear um, buoyance, um, psychic medium um, abilities or dreamscape abilities from the psychic realm and from your ancestors that help you um, and help you heal. I feel for, for some, you might be readers. You might be readers for some, possibly, or work in the spiritual realm in some shape, form, or fashion. Possibly. I didn't hear that, but possibly. But you do get some kind of downloads from the spiritual realm, from your ancestors. Some kind of clear abilities in some shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates for you. For some, you can be dealing with a fire sign. We have um, fire card reverse, passion reverse, but... Um, some, I feel you could be fire signs or you could be dealing with fire signs. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mean, hammer, Jupiter. Um, and, you know, the spirit message of basically um, you, you're healing, you're healing yourself, and you never wanted to be sexualized. So you had no passion to be sexualized. You were over there healing and growing yourself. I feel for some, you gained the players. And you realized, I have smarts. I have ch open channel to the spiritual realm. I, there's way much, way more to me than somebody looking, Googling, Googling and Googling on my freaking body. I have way more to offer in the universe than that. 
You know what I'm saying? And absolutely, I believe in empower women, women and men and everybody. Um, absolutely. So you have no passion for the situation. You have no passion for some kind of modeling contract to shut you up. Um, I feel for some of your readers and they want to shut you up. They want you to stand there and look freaking pretty. Um, because what you're saying in the, um, I, I feel you, for some, you have public platforms. I hear that, but I feel you do. And they want to shut you up, pay you a lot of money to shut you up. And that's the truth. So you have no passion for a situation. Let me see if I hear anything else. Several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur with this situation. One of these people that try to manipulate a modeling agent to scout you, this same modeling agent is about to sue them. For one. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Um, I heard several several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur with this. So not just one, several, several are. But one of them, one of them in particular, I heard. Whew, um, okay, so the same person that or people that tried to sexualize you in some shape, form, or fashion in the past, either through sexy photos, sexy videos, or whatever, they made money off of you, sexualized you without your consent authorization, did it completely behind your back, behind the scenes, they made a ton of money off you, didn't tell you basically. Uh, whoever you are. But they're also behind the scenes working with a modeling contractor. And maybe you're the modeling um, con um, modeling agent, modeling scout, whoever you are, possibly for whoever this is for. But I heard, so they're working with a modeling scout, modeling agent to try to scout you. Um, we have the modeling scout, modeling agent, and you in here. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do, if this resonates for you. Okay, going in modeling agent slash scout and you. Um, and Crazy, uh, for some, I feel it's crazy ass family members that did this to you or crazy ass frenemies, how that resonates, um, whoever they are and how they apply in your life. But how that resonates, the modeling scout agent that's working behind the scenes with the crazy ass shifty people that did it to you, whether it's crazy ass frenemies, crazy ass family members or one or both, um, they're about to sue one of these particular people for some it could be one person that sexualized you and did this shit for some it could be two plus but i heard that modeling scout agent is about to sue one of these people like put a lawsuit on their ass so you plug it in however that resonates now i didn't hear like why they were gonna sue them i don't know but you plug it in however that resonates let me see if i hear anything else wow holy crap but i heard several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur with this several so not just one but one of them is a lawsuit from the modeling scout basically getting pulled into this BS, behind the scenes BS, to try to get you to shut you up and make you look pretty um, when that's not who you are. They're about to get a huge wake-up call, realize that's the situation I'm feeling, and they're about to sue one of these people. At least one of them. I heard one. For some, it could be two plus. Okay, I didn't. I didn't hear anything else. I didn't. Wow, holy crap, you guys. My gosh. All right. Well, I'm getting off of here. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your um, social media and um, for uh, word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Oh, by the way, I said there was two in here. There was a modeling scout, an agent, and you, which there is. But there is a third person, too. I forgot to tell you that real quick. I'll skirt back. Third person is the person that sees your worth your intelligence and your beauty, your beauty and your brains. And they are really interested in you. I feel for some, they're about to come towards you in a positive way because I heard they're about to offer you something. They're about to offer you something. Um, but I think it's something, I think it's a business opportunity or an employment opportunity or something of that nature. Um, just be very careful and be very strong in your negotiating skills. Be very logical. Okay, I heard just be very careful and very strong in your negotiating skills, very logical.
So I think that's with this person. So this person's going to, uh, yeah, I think it's a business opportunity, not a modeling contract and definitely not sex industry. I'm feeling, um, but it's something to do. Maybe you have a license, a certification, maybe you're a professional. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, you're professionals. I feel you are professional, but you're beautiful. You're beautiful man or woman. You're beautiful and you're professional. And those, that, that's like, that's the best energy to be, you guys. That is, um, that's taking on the world energy right there. And that's one of the huge reasons that motivated me to lose all that damn weight. Um, because I wanted to be beautiful and professional. And, uh, and, and that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, but I heard be logical with this person and negotiate. So smart, logical, negotiating skills with this person. I feel for some, you might have to, I didn't hear you're going to have to sign a contract, but you might. And if you do, make sure to read it all and make sure to negotiate all the terms and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, before putting your name on the dotted lines. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Um, because whoever this is, they're very sharp and um, they're very skilled and they, um, they don't play when it comes to money, apparently. Um, but, but if they know you don't play with money as well, I think that's going to help is what I'm trying to say. Um, absolutely. In fact, I, in fact, I, I don't, can't say I know it's not going to help, but I strongly feel it's going to help you a ton. So just be sharp, logical on your point with this person, because they are sharp and logical and on their point too. Uh, whoever this person is. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.